Our students can really benefit from participating in interprofessional education or working with other healthcare professionals because that's what it's going to be when they're out there practicing. The session that we did today was an interprofessional simulation session. This is the third year that we've done um, this particular session within the Quality Improvement and Patient Safety Pathway, or QUIPS. This year we have pharmacy students, medical students, PA and nursing students all represented. Our PA and nursing students came over from Marquette University, who's been a great partner. This was the first year with the pharmacy students, which added a really great and relatively unknown perspective, at least to the, the medical PA and nursing students. For this patient simulation, we used our STAR Center that we have here at MCW. It allows the students to perform patient care activities in what looks like a doctor's office, essentially. We also utilize patient actors in the simulation in these rooms so that it feels as real as possible to the students when we're simulating patient case scenarios. Simulation is as close as you get to where the rubber hits the road before it actually hits the road. So the Star Center has been wonderful to have um, 12 rooms all at the same time so that we could have students from four professions today working together to understand what each other brings to the table and how that all helps to improve patient care. It helps us become better pharmacists and we can see things from different perspectives. And if you're able to see things from different perspectives, you're able to do your job better and you're able to help the patient get better quicker. From this experience, I have a much better idea of what each person's role is one day down the road when I'm seeing patients for real that we know who has what responsibilities and who we can rely on when we do need that help. I think working with the different disciplines of medicine coming together as a team really helps overall the confidence of the team bringing in different perspectives. Basically who benefits the most is the patient. About 80% of our serious medical errors could be prevented by just communication or they occurred because of communication issues. So teaching students how to properly communicate with people in their profession and also in other professions will benefit them and patient safety in the future. I feel MCW is preparing us to be the pharmacist of the future because it's really teaching us where the field is going, not where it is currently or where it was. And when we're done with the program here, we're gonna be able to hit the ground running and we won't be left behind.